Obstetrical emergencies are rare at the St. Catharines Hospital, so rare that Niagara Health has invested in a sim mom. I'm not feeling so good. That's the voice of Mary, a lifelike doll that was used in two simulated emergencies earlier this week. The simulation was amazing. Um, I've always been an advocate for sim, especially when it comes to trying to fill that gap between theory and practice. And uh, our staff did an excellent job. I'm so proud of them. They know what to do. They're practicing. They're gaining more confidence. They're gaining their skills, knowledge, and abilities. And being able to identify any gaps in knowledge or in skill or in equipment issues or anything that we possibly could do to better our care for our patients here. And with this, it's going to eventually help with our patient safety and outcomes. Lairdahl Medical created the Sim Mom. It's part of a wide range of simulation products they've designed. They believe that exercises like this help prepare for real life emergency procedures. As I mentioned, the, the intention is for us to be able to practice together um, and prepare for things that don't, you know, that go wrong and, and they don't go wrong very often, but when they do, uh, we revert back to our highest level of training and practice, right? So uh, providing these opportunities for them to, uh, to be able to um, communicate with each other and to uh, perform the, the emergency procedures that uh, need to be performed in a timely fashion. And, uh, at the same time, be able to uh, challenge the system and to make sure that the, the facilities is optimized for those types of emergencies and look for maybe ways where things could be done a little bit better. What did you observe from the team? Uh, a a um, incredibly um, high degree of camaraderie, uh, folks who, who work together very well um, and are appreciative of the opportunity to practice. Uh, and I think that's really um, one of the, the highlights here is, is that you know, we understand as, as human beings that, that things, things go wrong sometimes and we need to have these opportunities to, uh, to practice together. This is the first purchase of an interactive mannequin in the country and soon Mary will be joined by a simulation baby as Niagara Health continues to support the training of frontline staff. <laughs> we ended up doing a postpartum hemorrhage, um, which the girls reacted to very in a, in a great timely manner. And it's one of those things that happen not often, but often enough that we need to increase our emergency preparedness and practice these drills over and over again to realize, you know, what are we missing? What are we doing? What do we need to do better? And uh, to make sure that our patients are um, have the the, pos the safest possible environment. She's quite lifelike, is that right? Very much so, very much so. She communicates with you, she interacts with you, she talks, she moans, she groans. Um, she looks like a real human as well, depicts any vital signs and fetal heart rate patterns as well. Uh, we're gonna do like these kind of acceptable emergencies. It was just go in and like do your learning, do what you know how to do. But that, that applies to what you do day to day That's when you roll into a room. Every single day, yeah. Where it's a very, like we're a very acute unit. Um, obstetrical emergencies happen kind of all the, not all the time, but like with some frequency. So we kind of always have to be prepared. So it's really good that we can have like learning opportunities like this now, because it's really gonna help our staff, I think. Niagara Health has made the investment in the equipment. Uh, what we will do from here is, is we will support them in their journey of, of implementing simulation on a regular basis. Um, and so we chose this hospital as a pilot because uh, they have made an investment in their people. Um, to us, that's a, a, just a, a remarkable step uh, towards improving patient safety. And that lines up perfectly with our mission at Lairdall of helping save lives. In Niagara, you're watching The Source on your TV.